What happens to that person who only gave about half of an effort that day at work? Now I think you're afraid to answer the question. <laughs> That's just the first draw back. Uh, so we got a lot of nothing. So I'll set y'all up for that. I made that, too easy. I made that too easy for you. Here's the second trade off. Can I tell you the other one? Nothing happens to you. I, I they don't? I exactly agree with Pete. I have happy exam here. It's easier to have those sloppy days even in the future. You have been to the post office for them. <laughs> they can just develop those bad habits and they can just keep doing it over and over. They can get away with it. Right? And as a professional, when someone's skilled enough, when you're a professional, you're pretty good at what you do. Skilled enough to kind of make it look like you're working when you're really not. Think about the person who doesn't show up or doesn't show up all the way. They, they go to work, but they're not. They're there, but they're not really there. They don't get Dr. Day's back. They don't get fired. They don't get uh, their name put on the, the wall of shame for not showing up and not doing their job. Nothing happens. Nothing bad happens to them for not showing up on the third day.